What's up, webheads? Guys, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. In the car today, I'm bringing another episode of Worst of First. This is the video series where, in brief, I give you my entire week's worth of comics and I count them down from worst to first. So hopefully you guys enjoy and let's kick it off. The worst comic of the week is Axe Judgment Day, Death to Mutants, Issue 1. I tried reading this multiple times. I totally fell asleep. I say, skip it. Next on the list is Firepower, issue 23. Full of action, no words. There has not been a lot of family dynamic in this book as of late, and not a lot of story progression either, but I'll stick with it. Hulk Banner War Finale, Hulk issue eight. All out action, fun comic to look at, very predictable ending. What's next for Hulk? X-Men, issue 13, another Axe Judgment Day tie-in. This book was actually pretty cool. Lots of action, cool to see Firestar in action as well. I recommend this one for an Axe Judgment Day tie-in. Next on the list, we have Strange, issue five. Clea is still trying to resurrect Doctor Strange. And in this issue, we find out who the Harvest Man is. Silver Coin Issue 13. I'm always a fan of this book. Very grotesque issue. Let me tell you, it never disappoints. If you love horror, you're going to love Silver Coin. Entering the top 10, we have Nightwing Issue 95. We have Dick Grayson battling Blockbuster in this issue. Not too much story progressing, but always a nice and entertaining read with great relationships and team-ups. Ms. Marvel and Moon Knight issue one. What a great team up book this was. I love these two interacting with each other, fighting some robotic rats, and Kamala Drawn was drawn beautifully in this issue, and they really utilized her skill set phenomenally. Definitely recommend this book. World's Finest number six is next on this countdown. This book never disappoints. I love the lighter writing style, and this issue focuses on Dick Grayson, how our heroes have to go after him in the time stream. Artwork is so gorgeous, and again, it just reminds you of a simpler time of DC. This is a must read. Next is a book that totally surprised me. This is the Last Shadow Hawk one shot. Oh my gosh, the artwork in this book was absolutely phenomenal as it showed you the death of the Last Shadow Hawk. Very dark but beautifully drawn book, like I said. This is a recommend, guys. Check this one out. Hopefully, we'll get another Shadow Hawk in the future. Iron Cat number three. Wow, this is like another team up book with Tony Stark and Felicia Hardy. If you want a good Iron Man book, this is it, man. I love this book. The artwork is so gorgeous. Love seeing a black cat in this Iron Cat suit fighting off her ex girlfriend. This is a phenomenal series. I know this is under the radar. I can't stress this enough. If you like Black Cat, read this book. Now we're in the top five, and this one goes to The Edge of Spider-Verse issue two. Spider UK is a legit character. The introduction of the character was beautifully done, and we actually get the main villain in this book as well. I think this character could have legs, guys. Don't give up on Edge of Spider-Verse. Excellent issue. Daredevil issue 650, the milestone issue. What a great book with Matt Murdock battling against his old college roommate, which is supposedly his guardian angel. Man, what a great and an emotional book. If you love Daredevil and read it all this time and you're kind of on the fence with this second volume, you won't be disappointed. And at the end, you get to see every single cover of Daredevil ever made. Top three now, Dark Spaces Wildfire, written by Scott Snyder. This book was great. I love how these firefighters are entering this rich guy's house to try to steal all this Bitcoin. And at the end, they were surprised of what they found. Yeah, deep dark secrets, let me tell you. But man, this is definitely a recommendation. Great artwork, different type of story here as well. Number two, Barbaric, 
Axe to the Grind, issue one. My gosh, this book is very vulgar. It's very gory. It's just a lot of fun seeing them go out to sea and battle a huge kraken, vampires, all kinds of stuff. I cannot wait for issue two. If you want something different and you don't mind a little bit of gore, this is definitely the book to pick up. Coming in at number one. Never expected this book to be so good. This is True Cult issue one. What a hysterical comic book. I tell you, this book made me laugh out loud multiple times. Guy is a fast food loser worker at Burger Lord, and he does this hysterical heist, and the ramifications start right away. You have to pick this one up, guys. So there you have it, webheads. Hopefully you enjoyed this week's Worst of First. I want to know your comments below and what your favorite comic was, what your least favorite comic was. And as always, guys, if you love the content, I'll leave you more content right here. And guys, as always, keep buying, keep collecting, but most importantly, always read your comics. Guys, I'll see you real soon. Bye.